Ladina, which is also known as the Yiddish of the Sephardic Jews, has been spoken as far back as the Middle Ages. Although it has been recognized as a minority official language by the State of Israel, it is on the brink of extinction. The Ladino Council in Israel is attempting to make the language cool and more relevant as it has created the first ever International Ladino Day. The fifth president of the State of Israel, Itzhak Navon, who today heads the National Authority for Ladino, says he's beyond thrilled that the initiative of creating the International Ladino Day has been welcomed with such enthusiasm. And it's very interesting to see how people have such an emotional approach to this legacy. We call it legacy. And uh, you see, I don't know how many thousands of people come for the International Day of Ladina. It was an idea by a certain lady here, and uh, it, it spread like <laughs> fire. The Day of Ladino. Once a year, we hope it will continue. Alegre Amadou Ben Yitzhak is the head of the Israeli state broadcaster's foreign language channel IBA World Service, who single-handedly is making Ladino a living language by anchoring a daily Ladino newscast. This language alive is definitely Kol Israel in Ladino. We have a daily broadcast of 15 minutes, and it is really one of the factors that keep the language uh, alive. The Ladino lovers, uh, the Ladino language and culture lovers, uh, feel united and they don't feel that they're alone in uh, preserving this language. So that's very important to, to mark this day. The Spanish ambassador to Israel, Fernando Calderera, admits that it is very important not only for Israel, but also for his country to keep the Ladino heritage alive. We are organizing and supporting activities both in uh, Spain and Israel. In Spain, we do it through Centro Sefarad Israel, which is a, a public diplomacy institution uh, financed by the Spanish government, whose aim is to promote the knowledge and the spread of the uh, Jewish culture in Spain, including the old Jewish culture and the common heritage of Sefarad. And in Israel, we promote uh, Ladino courses in Instituto Cervantes. We cooperate with the Autoridad Nacional del Ladino. We cooperate with the different universities in Israel who have departments who teach and promote not only the language but the Ladino culture. There has been many uh, Spanish intellectuals and writers who have studied Ladino and who have uh, discovered it in the 19th century uh, because, uh, well, it was like uh, forgotten for many people in Spain. And now people are aware that this is uh, an existing and a living language and we are very proud of it. As the Ladino speakers in the world rapidly decrease, the Ladino Council is trying to introduce the language as an elective class in high school, just like was done a few years ago with Yiddish in an attempt to raise a new generation of Ladino speakers. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the La Dia Internacional de Ladino, the International Day of Ladino at Bar Ilan University.